Hello guys and welcome to the second episode. In this episode, we'll design a web page and do its programming in Ampilla. Now you can use any programming language you want like HTML or JavaScript to design a web page. In this tutorial, I'm not going to teach you HTML or JavaScript. You can find many tutorials of this on Google. So you can do your programming in Notepad also, but I recommend you to download this Notepad++ directly from the Google here. So now let's talk about Ethernet programming in pick my windows. In Ethernet programming, there are basically two concepts. One is dynamic variables and another one is uh, get and post request. We'll talk about dynamic variables. Dynamic variables help us in dynamically inserting text strings into the web page. Dynamic variables allow web streams to take data from a system. So let's let's say uh, this message is a dynamic variable if we include this message into these pairs. So this message will be replaced by the text string which I want. So let's take an example. Let's say we want this message or dynamic variable to be replaced by the text string we want. So we have to include that part in the pick programming. But before that, let's just design a simple web page. I'll include a heading like telecom. And then include a normal line. So save your file and launch this in Chrome. So this is our first web page. Here is the welcome and this is the dynamic variable. So now let's go to the microchip solutions folder, TCPIP demo app and you will find the web pages to folder. This folder contains all the HTML files which we need to include in our website. So one thing to notice here is this index file. Let's say you have four or five web pages in your website. The first web page of your website should be named as index. So I will we'll just rename our, we'll just rename this demo application into the index. Let's open it. Yes, this is the file. And we will put this file into the folder. Paste. So this is the file which we have made, HTML file. Now go back. Here you have to find a batch file which is this convert web pages to MPFS. What this file do is this convert our web pages into an MPF MPFS file format and include all the dynamic variables which we have defined in our HTML file into our project folder. So I'll just run this thing. So now let's open MPLabX and our project, open header files and open a TCP IP stack. You can you'll find the HTTP print.h double click to open this file and you can find this HTTP print message. This message is our dynamic variable. Now we have to include or we have to uh, do some coding for our input text string which we want to be displayed on the website. So just copy this thing and open a custom http app.c you can find that custom http app.c under source files double click it to open the file and here you can see all the dynamic variables defined for the default web page of the microchip but now as we are doing our own web page designing our own web page we will define our own dynamic variables so for this void and i'll paste the dynamic variable now, as you can see, this TCP put roam string function put the input text string into the dynamic variable. So I'll just copy this thing and paste here. So now what will happen? This will be replaced. That uh, sorry, that 
message will be replaced by this hello message input text string. So let's build our program. So build is successful. Now let's program our device. Okay, so programming is done. Now we have to open the TCP IP discoverer app to get the latest IP address of our device. We we'll open microchip, TCP IP stack, utilities, and this TCP IP discoverer. So the latest IP address is 141.200. Go into the browser and open this address. So this is our web page and as you can see here hello message is getting displayed and that dynamic variable is replaced by our text is text string which we have defined here. Let's modify this text string to something else. Let's build our program. Build is successful. Now let's program the device. Okay, so let's open the TCP IP discoverer to see if the IP has been changed or not. IP is same. Let's reload this. And it is replaced by welcome to embedded mouse tracks. So as you can see, these dynamic variables are really helpful in designing the web pages and doing Ethernet programming in PIC control. So this was all about dynamic variables and the second tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will tell you how we can add few buttons in our web page and by pressing this button, we can control the LEDs. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and comment if you have any doubts on reviews about this video. Thank you.